You know, they tell me in the Bible, it says that the beginning of uh, fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. The fear. You need to ask yourself a question. Do I have it? Not that do you have wisdom. Not do you have knowledge. But do you have fear? Right. Mm -hmm. Do you have fear of God? Because if you had fear of God, you'd be trying to get off the road to Ooh, Hallelujah. You wouldn't want to be on that road very long. You may stumble, you may fall, you may slip, you may slide and get on that road to the bathroom, but you still have said, mm -mm, I can't be on this road that long. I got to make a change. Something has got to happen because I have the fear of the Lord. I'm telling you today, we don't have fear. We don't have fear. We don't even acknowledge that we have fear of the Lord. For some reason, we think we got the Lord instead of the Lord having us. Mm. You ever thought about how it is when your children start growing up? When your children start growing up. Now, I remember when I was a child. Yesterday, I was young. And my mom and dad would call me in and they would say, did you know anything about how my mirror got broke? I'd be scared to death. Because I know what was going to happen. At least I thought I knew. I was afraid of the chastisement that I would get. I would have fear. Did anybody have fear of their parents? Oh, Was just three of y'all? The rest of y'all didn't have no fear. You had them loving parents that never touched you. Oh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Mom touched me all the time, and it wasn't a hug. <laughs> I had fear of my parents, but when I started to grow up, I started to recognize my fear was depleting. How did I know it was depleting? I didn't realize it was depleting until I got older. Because I would go up to Mama and say, Mama, look. <laughs> I'm, I'm tall as you. I must have been the only one. Oh, I would take Daddy home. See, Daddy, look. Come on, let's arm around to Daddy. See, look, look. What was happening to me? I was finding ways to find myself equal to them. Hello? I equivalent to them. And without realizing my fear was depleting. Then it got to the point to where I got to the height of daddy. And I'm looking at daddy out there. Well, the football team, or well, the well, basketball team, hey, look here, daddy. And daddy would always say, boy, you just step out there when you think you grow. <laughs> A step my way. Well, I never had, my fear never did to plead, go away, but my older brothers did. Uh -oh. My older brother's fear depleted one day. He got really strong and said something to mama. And mama got upset, and then he had the nerve. Uh -oh. His daddy said, Bob, you know, sit your own little butt down. He said, I ain't going to sit down. And the next thing I know, he was laying down. <laughs> <laughs> he was laying down. And when he got up, yes, sir, no, sir, what else, sir? <laughs> Used to be, daddy would say, go get a belt. Or go get a switch. Bob would say, go get a switch. But when my fear depleted, they didn't say go get it. It was boop! No. Now, for some of y'all, I guess in this day and time, they would say that's child abuse. No, actually, the child abuse would have been if he'd have let him get away with it. That would have been the child abuse. Because the fear is always depleting. As you grow up, children, we know your fear begins to deplete. And we hope it turns 
from fear to respect. That's what our desire is. Our desire is, is that we want our children to grow up and start respecting us, but sometimes it doesn't happen that way. They grow up and their fear totally depletes, and then they want to get cocky and tell you what they will do and not do in the house that you pay the bill for. Oh no, that's one part. I'm sorry. I went somewhere way left me like y'all looking at me saying, "Well, why are we getting this today?" That's all right. It's simply because that's the road to what your lifestyle. That's the road to the baskets. You're out to hurt somebody else.